Marie. Welcome to Mondo Locos Music Highlights. Today we look at Isabel Marie Sanchez. Sanchez is an American Tejano music singer. She gained recognition in various singing and dance contests. Her breakthrough happened in the third season of La Voz Kids, where she caught attention of record executive Abraham Quintanilla. And this is her music highlight. Por las noches no más se le iba y puro llorar. Dicen que no comía, no más se le iba y puro volar. Juran que el mismo cielo se estremecía al oír su llanto. Como sufrió por ella, que hasta en su muerte la fue amando. So Isabel, how long have you been playing music? Since I was really, really little. I started professionally when I was eight or nine years old. Oh. And um, it's been a whirlwind after that, but definitely um, I've had some amazing amazing moments. I've um, been on some international TV shows. Oh, wow. Um, I signed with Abraham Pintania, and um, it's been crazy, but we're blessed. Thank God. You, you you've done it all. You've been international. You've got awards. Um, what's been some of your your struggles? Um, it's definitely always been a struggle being so young. Um, I know when I was like barely starting, um, nobody would really give me that opportunity to show what I had. And um, thank God I've always had my parents by my side, and yeah. they've been the ones that have fought for me. Um, you know, they were always like, so like just let her on stage and she can show you that she's not gonna, you know, she's professional. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and my dad has always taught me that he can always open the door for me, but I have to walk through it. Yeah. And I always remembered that because I'm like, it's up to me now. It's nobody else. You can only control yourself, you know, yeah. so I practicing and, you know, um, always knowing your music and all of that stuff. It was, I definitely had a, more of a battle with my age. Um, but obviously being a woman as well, yeah. <laughs> double whammy, <laughs> it's definitely very, very hard, um, you know, entering in music, especially just because there's a lot of men who will tell you, you know, you're not there yet, or, you know, um, you're not old enough, you're not 18 yet, people can't see you that way, you know, so it's, um, that has always been a struggle, but... Um, yeah, we've surpassed them, and that's life. You have to, you know, go through all of these obstacles, and um, if you have a good support system, it, it makes everything a lot easier. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, those have been my most, like, biggest struggles, I think. Well, how has your parents helped you out through this struggle? What, what are, like, some of the wisdom words they gave you? <laughs> so what, what have been, like, some of the little things that they've helped you out and contribute to help you along the journey? Yeah, my parents are my lifesavers, I feel like. Um, you know, they always try and help make my life easier, which is great and amazing. But, you know, there are things that, you know, I put together the band now. But when I was barely starting, you know, my dad was always in charge of that, getting the guys together. And um, that's always hard <laughs> just because everyone has different lives. But, um, you know, like just today, I was like warming up and I had to do my hair and um, my, I, I asked my dad, I said, can you please go give me water? I hadn't drank water all day, <laughs> but I love this one water. It's called essential water. It, it, I'm not sponsored or anything, but like, it's like magic juice. I don't know why. Like, water yeah, essential water. Um, and so, yeah, he went to go give me my water and they're always trying to make sure like my hair, my mom, she was an esthetician, um, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, just hair and makeup um, for many years, and she taught me that, um, but, you know, she'll be doing my hair, like, helping me pick out my outfit, and she does a lot of, like, um, things that they call roadie things, yeah. too, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's a family effort, and um, it's, it's, I wanted to say this story because it's actually pretty funny, but um, today... They told us, like, so many things can happen, you know, like, you never know, so you always should be prepared, but they told us that they had the full drum set, right? 
and we tell our drummer it's okay they have a full drum set we get here and there's no cymbals <laughs> so if, if we didn't find any cymbals so we would be literally playing air kind of so we're lucky enough that La Calma let us let, uh, let us use their symbols, <laughs> but um, yeah, anything can happen. And um, you know, I always have my parents to try and figure something out. But um, they're they're basically like my lifesavers. <laughs> what do you see among other musicians, at least those who uh, who love and accept you? What what are some of the what are some of the things you see or appreciate or really stick with you? I feel like just the immense support from you know like I've had great support from Elida Reina and like um, just a lot of a lot of groups and it's it's been really amazing just to see that unity and it's like there's enough space for everyone you know what I mean and even myself as an artist I always try and um, you know give the light to some other other people who are starting or you know because you never know and um, it's their dream and if they, if they work really hard at it it's something that I would love to see people prosper, you know? Um, but definitely just supporting each other before going on stage or like um, Dana Cortez, she's with um, 98 The Beat and she's a radio announcer, but she was just showing her support as well. And just, I, I always love being able to catch up as well with people that I have met since I was really, really little. and. You know, they're always like, I saw you when you were little and a baby, and now you're growing up. <laughs> um, and it's just funny just to know that they saw me, like, super little, but yeah. they're still supporting and, um, you know, believe in us. So that's that's really nice. So now that you're older, because I think you started around, what, nine? Nine, yeah. And you're, what, how old are you, 20? I'm 20 years old. So that's what... 10, 11, 11 years? Yeah, 11 years. So it's like every time I tell somebody I'm 20 and they're like, oh, you're a baby, you're a baby. I said, um, no, my back is starting to hurt already <laughs> because I started really young. <laughs> no, honestly, it's like when you are, when you make something your profession and I made so many sacrifices as well, you know, like, I, I mean, like, I didn't go to school. I didn't like really have the most amount of friends like you keep your circle very small you're um, trying just to do what helps you with your dream you know and my dad always told me too he's like I will help you um, you know as long as you're having fun because once it starts feeling like a job and you're like oh I don't want to go then that's a problem because you're, you need to love this job <laughs> and so like I just always have um, found one way or another to love it and it's, it's a beautiful blessing to be able to meet so many different people and, um, you know, the fans after the shows yeah, and everything, yeah. but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, looking at your performance, you're dancing away and smiling and you're, like, moving and grooving. Like, what what is it that gives you that, that cariño, that energy? It's the fans, honestly. Like, I, like it's hot outside and but I of course we're Texan right so we, we can endure this heat <laughs> but um, the fans like it just amazes me how they're out there still dancing away they love music and they're just want to hear more you know so um, that always gives me so much energy and if I see someone dancing and having a good time I look at them and grab their energy too and uh, water helps <laughs> water helps definitely but um, yeah it's just you just have fun and honestly it's like when you love something time can go by so fast yeah, and yeah. Um, and yeah so when I'm on stage a 45 minute set or an hour set like just goes by so fast oh. it really does just cause you like lose yourself and you have so much adrenaline and um, you know you just kind of just forget that you're performing it becomes like your right hand you know like you really know how to do it yeah so what are some of the highlights what are some of the things that you had to overcome now that you are 11 years in even though you have no gray hairs like like some of us 11 years in what are some of the things you overcome that you see now that happens you're like oh i got this oh this is easy oh don't worry about it oh let's let's do this um i feel like you're always learning like me I'm always always learning I feel like I have like I don't know I feel like I'm a really like 
strong perfectionist and I like to really like look at myself and you did this, this, this wrong. <laughs> you're your worst critic, honestly. So nothing's ever perfect. Um, but yeah, I feel like I have um, grown as a singer, as a vocalist, um, as a performer as well. Um, you know, just having that confidence and I feel like what helped me honestly was COVID like that era where there was no performances going on nothing and it just made me really sad and made me really like appreciate what I get to do every day because like I just wasn't performing and so once I got back on stage I was like I'm gonna be I'm gonna do what I've been dreaming about like in my house and like singing in front of the mirror practicing and like now I get to really do it so yeah that um that definitely helped and like I mean it was it was very hard for me <laughs> for me because you know once you're so used to a lifestyle of like performing and on the go all the time, it's it's very hard to kind of settle down. But um, yeah, so I feel like I've just grown more as as a vocalist and learning how to use my diaphragm and learning how to not strain my vocals and you know because it, it can be really easy just to forget and um, you know but really like honing in my craft. Yeah. Was there anything else you want to add before you head out? Like, I don't know, maybe words of wisdom or something you want to give somebody along their journey or anything? Yeah, I just want to say keep it up. Um, it can be really hard, but don't, don't stop because <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's like when they say, when they say when you're in college and you take a year, <laughs> a year break and then you stop. I just keep going, you know, just keep going and you're going to overcome those things and um, sometimes it just seems like it's really, really hard, but, you know, um, with God's help and if you have a really great support system, you're going to make make it through and I would just say just to stay in touch with who you are, don't let any, anybody change you and always see how you can, um, you can improve in who you are, you know what I mean? Like, um, of course, there's a difference between um, people just speaking negatively on you and constructive criticism. And I feel like if you do receive constructive criticism, because you have to be the one to kind of differentiate that, then really take it and and, um, and really try and um, you know work on it. Um, but I would just I just say that. <laughs> this is your DJ Mon Loco from TownLocal.com Radio and Mon Locos. Music Insight with Isabel Marie. Thank you. Keep it connected. Truly a beautiful story. Family is like music. Some high notes, some low notes, but always a beautiful song. You're watching Mondo Locos Music Highlights. And remember to highlight your life with some music with Isabel Marie Sanchez. I'd go crawling 